Hey, good morning, everybody. So today, uh, we're going to thank you for joining us on this wonderful Friday. In this Just Learn It episode, where we are talking about how to do bookkeeping as a freelancer. We're going to focus a lot on bookkeeping. So what is bookkeeping? Well, bookkeeping is basically tracking transactions. And when, when we hear the word bookkeeping, we usually think of things like accounting and money and business, right? And, and that's kind of, that's kind of correct. Um, but bookkeeping specifically, all you're doing in bookkeeping is you're tracking transactions. That's what you're doing. You're just track. These are the two main words. You're tracking transactions. And the reason why you track transactions, it's very important for businesses to tra track transactions because it helps them make decisions. It helps them make decisions. You know, as freelancers, we we make money. A lot of times we spend money. We spend money on different things like tools, on equipment. Like I, I, I bought a new computer. That's equipment. And sometimes if we have agencies, we spend salaries as well. And if, we, if we're not doing proper bookkeeping, we can't answer certain questions like, do I have enough money? Do I have enough money to to hire or to buy something? Um, so we're trying to answer a bunch of different questions here. Just so bookkeeping helps us answer these questions. Helps answer. How much money? How much money am I really making? Because, you know, as freelancers, we we also have this question, right? Like, how much money am I really making as a freelancer? Because we have all these other expenses as well. We have to pay for internet. We have to pay upwork fees. We have to pay. We have to buy a computer. We have to pay for electricity. So bookkeeping helps us answer this question and not, well, I, I'm talking in terms of our freelancing, our own freelancing, but when you're doing bookkeeping for businesses, it's the same thing. Businesses don't really, like small businesses, they don't really know how much money they're making. If you go to a, a carinderia or to, you know, a small convenience store, a lot of the times they don't know the answer to this question. How much am I making? Because they don't have proper bookkeeping. They also don't know the answer to the question. How much tax should I pay? Right? How much tax should I actually pay? And do I have enough to to invest? Right? Do I have enough to invest in a new computer? Do I have enough to invest in new equipment, in new cooking tools, if, if you're like a Arcar and Dario? So bookkeeping helps us helps us and helps the businesses that we help as if, if we're doing bookkeeping for them, it helps them answer these questions. So that's what bookkeeping really does. It, it tracks these tra transactions, tracks the transactions, specifically, the money coming in, the money going out. So very simple stuff, money coming in, money going out, and the money owed to us, and the money owed to others. So once we know in a, in a business, once a business understands the money coming in, the money coming out, the money owed to us, the money owed to others, together with what you have, what you own, you can answer these questions. The questions of, once you know all these, you can answer these questions up here. How much am I making? How much should I, how much should I pay in taxes? Do I have enough to invest in new employees, in new equipment, and in things and and similar questions like that. So what do bookkeepers do? What do you actually do as a bookkeeper? Well, a bookkeeper does a lot of different things. Well, one one common thing a bookkeeper does, and I did this, I used to do bookkeeping for, for some clients, I'd receive 
scanned receipts. So, you know, there's, you receive a PDF file and then in the PDF file, there are a bunch of different receipts. And these are usually the client, you know, they buy something, they go to a store like Office Depot or Best Buy and they buy office, like it's like National Bookstore in the Philippines, they buy office equipment and they scan the receipts and send it to me. That's, that's what I used to do. They send it to me as a bookkeeper. And so I have a copy of their transactions. Another thing you can do, however, because you know we have the internet and there's this thing called online banking, you can download transactions. Downloading transactions from their bank um, or so down, you can download transactions. I don't know how to draw a bank, but I'll try. This is a good, that doesn't look like a bank from the bank or in QuickBooks or whatever software they're using. Um, so you can download the transactions from their bank. A client used to give me their bank logins, which um, is very dangerous because I had access to, 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 to their credit cards and everything, um, but they gave me access. So I could download transactions or you can download it in software like in QuickBooks. And let me just draw a computer here to notify that this is software. So I would get copies of their transactions either through here, either through the scanned receipts. Ooh, I'm using the color green or I download it um, from the Internet. And once I do have a copy of these transactions, so I have a copy of these transactions. What I would do next is I would record them. I would record them in in software, in computer software, like um, at the time we were using QuickBooks. And QuickBooks is the most popular software to use. That's why I teach it in, in my bookkeeping course as well. So I record it in the QuickBooks software, I track it. And you don't just record actually. What you also do aside from recording is you track and you categorize. Like this transaction, was it for office equipment? This transaction, was it for salaries? This transaction, was it for supplies? And and the the, the science of, let me just clear the screen. So when we have a transaction, you know, we, a common, like what's it for? Is this for supplies? Is it for, salary is it for advertising is it for equipment and the the understanding of how to properly categorize and track these different transactions this is really what bookkeeping is all about so you receive you receive copies of the transactions and then you categorize and you do all of this inside software, usually QuickBooks. In the olden days before the internet, you do it in like a ledger, in, in an actual um, ledger. In fact, um, we have to keep one for BIR purposes because the BIR wants us to keep a ledger. So we track it on the computer, but the BIR doesn't like that. So we, we also have to write it on a ledger, which is very tiring, but that's what we have to do for our tax reports. Anyhow, that's basically what bo bookkeepers do. And lastly, and very, very importantly, is create reports. And these reports, we have different kinds of reports. We have profit and loss. We have a balance sheet. We have a statement of cash flows. And these reports help, help, make decisions because these reports tell the company how much money am i making how much profit am i making am i am i losing money am i making money do i have enough money to invest how much money should i pay in taxes these reports help make these decisions so ultimately you know you you track you categorize and you do you you get the scanned receipts, you get copies of transactions, but at the end of the day, the most important thing really is to, to generate reports for clients. So basically that's what, that's what bookkeepers really do. Okay, so I, I get a question a lot. I get this question a lot. Um, 
can I do bookkeeping? Can I do it? You know, uh, freelancers ask me, you know, I've heard about this bookkeeping thing. It seems very interesting. Can I do it? And for most people, the answer could be yes. But the skills needed for bookkeepers, uh, a bookkeeper should have basic math. And I'm not talking about calculus or geometry, just basic math. Um, you're just doing addition and subtraction, actually. And maybe a little bit of algebra. That's, that's a little bit of, slightly important. And you have to understand business a little bit because... As a bookkeeper, you're going to have to categorize transactions and then you're going to be answering, you're going to be creating reports which will, which will help answer the questions we talked about earlier. So if you understand business, this will help out a lot um, when, you're doing the, the, when you're doing the tracking and the categorizing and, and stuff like that. Okay, and another question I do want to answer is, should you do bookkeeping? Aside from can you do it? Should I do bookkeeping? Well, a reason why you would do bookkeeping is because bookkeeping is actually easy. Well, but why should I? Why should I, why should you do it? Because bookkeeping is easy. Once you know the rules, once you know the what are assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses, once you once you know the difference between these different things um, and you know the, the software like QuickBooks, it is actually very easy to do bookkeeping. Um, and it pays, it, it pays pretty well. Not, you're not going to become very rich from becoming a bookkeeper, but it pays decently well more than a regular admin virtual assistant. So, um, if as a VA, you know, let's say you're earning $7 an hour, as a bookkeeper, you can easily increase that to $15 an hour. And with more experience, you can increase that to $25 an hour. So it, it does pay um, pretty well. Like if you're earning as a VA $5 per hour with bookkeeping, you could probably earn around $10 per hour. So it's a good skill to know. And it also helps you on your own, helps you as a freelancer, track know how much you are making on your own um, and you know whether or not you're making money okay so why should you not do bookkeeping why should i not do it well there's one uh, you know as we I, I said bookkeeping is easy but there's one major reason why why I wouldn't recommend bookkeeping for everyone is because with bookkeeping, accuracy is very important. We're talking about money here. We're talking about transactions. Um, how do you draw the pound symbol? We're talking about different kinds of transactions, different money reports, and things like that. So accuracy is very important. So if you're if if you're not if you're not a very accurate person, if you have very low attention to detail, then bookkeeping might not be the area for you because one mistake, one small mistake in bookkeeping, a very, like, for example, one common mistake in bookkeeping is if you record a, you know, there's sometimes there's a transaction for $100. And then a common mistake is that, you know, you, you kind of forget the dot and it becomes a 10, it becomes a $10,000 transaction. So that's a, that's a, it's a common mistake, but it does happen. Or something like something like 68.54 uh, becomes 86.54, and it happens a lot. So you should be you should have good attention to detail as a bookkeeper. Okay, so let's move on to the different the different tools the different tools a bookkeeper needs. Well, a bookkeeper should, like I said, we should have basic bookkeeping knowledge, but the only tool they really need is some kind of bookkeeping software, like QuickBooks, and sometimes a PDF reader, like Adobe Acrobat or Foxit Reader. And once you have that, you don't really need a lot of other tools. It's, it's, it's not a very tool-intensive um, area. Okay, so where can you learn more about bookkeeping? Well, we do have a free course on bookkeeping as well. 
uh, over at wfhr.io slash free bookkeeping course. And I do also want to mention, you know, if, if you're if you're planning to do bookkeeping as a as a freelancer, I would recommend trying to get certifications from yep, certifications from um, companies such as Zero or QuickBooks. So you can get certifications from there. Uh, that would be my recommendation. All right, let me see if we have any questions here. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, Caesar, Fritz, Karen, Riza, good morning. Elma, good morning. Maneth, Irma, Loizel, Lydia, Kenneth. Uh, we well, we don't do hands-on training. Kenneth, uh, Kenneth is asking. Kailan ko yung ng hands-on training? Um, we do have the court, the different courses I offer, and uh, the closest hands-on training that I do is the Road to 100K program. Um, which you can see on the right side of the screen. Good morning, Ria, Iris, Joala, Almira, Karen, Claire, Melissa, um, Bong, Jessamine, Reneline, Melissa. Oh, Melissa can't watch it. Um, if you if you couldn't watch it, you might want to refresh. Like Bong said, um, Angie, Karen, Rowena. Ivy, so I'm just saying good morning to everybody. Oh, um, Bong Islet is asking, do you have to be an accounting graduate or an accountant to be a bookkeeper? Uh, the answer is no. No, you, you don't need to be an accounting graduate. In fact, bookkeeping is very easy. Um, it's If you have some basic math skills um, and you understand the basics, bookkeeping is extremely easy. You don't need to be an accounting graduate. In fact, um, I know people who are just high school graduates who do bookkeeping. So, yeah, you don't need to. You don't even need to have any kind of degree. Joanna, Jane, um, Joyce, good morning. Lavelle, Joseph, good morning. Irma has a question. Does a client accept an undergrad applicant for bookkeeper? Yes, especially if you have experience with QuickBooks, with Zero, X E R O. That's that's the software. Um, and if you have certifications, and it, of course you have to study bookkeeping. Like we have our course, check out the free course we have on, on bookkeeping. We also have a paid course. You have to study bookkeeping. You have to understand it. You have to understand how to use the software, but your degree doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a degree or not. Karen Francisco, I'm a BSA undergrad without experience, without work experience. Will it still be possible for me to get a bookkeeping gig? Um, yes, it would, but my recommendation would be to get some experience. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, friends and family who own small businesses or even freelancers who want to track their bookkeeping. Um, or if you don't have any friends or family or anyone you can approach who you can do bookkeeping for, I would just go to like a local business in your area, like a local coffee shop and say, hey, I want to get some bookkeeping experience. I'm, I'm a BSA undergrad. I'll do it for you for free. I'll set up your QuickBooks. And then you can have that as your experience. That would be my recommendation for you. And it, it'll just take a couple of weeks for you to do it. Um, oh, you can do it in a few days, even if they have their records. Um, Bong, it's working for Bong. That's good to hear. Olay Watan, or, or Olay Juatan, sorry. Is there a company that accepts OJT as bookkeeper? Any company you approach will accept OJT as a bookkeeper. Um, any small company, just approach the owner and say, hey, I want to do bookkeeping for you for free. Because companies have to pay money for it. So say you'll do it for free. You'll set up their QuickBooks, especially. If you set them up for online bookkeeping, uh, they're going to love it. Um, good morning, Aya. Ivy, wow. Uh, Joyce, do you give a certificate for bookkeeping when enrolled in your accelerated course? Joyce, that's a separate course. Um, bookkeeping is a separate course from the VA Bootcamp accelerated course. We do have the VA Bootcamp complete, which includes bookkeeping, if you want to check that out. Um, but we do have a whole separate for certificate for bookkeeping for the its own course. Um, Yel Lazatin is the bookkeeping course in the complete package. Um, same with the bookkeeping 
lang na ino offer niya po sa court na course. Yes, um, the bookkeeping course. In the com- so if you get the complete package, the bookkeeping course that's sold for three thousand two nine ninety, sorry, is also included in the complete package together with like the English course and the writing course. Um, so yeah, the complete package is is actually very cost effective. It's sulit na sulit. <laughs> Fritz Irwin, um, how much is the paid course? What's the schedule? How long is the course? Um, so Fritz, the course itself is 2990, 2990. Um, the schedule, it's all pre-recorded, so you can take it on your own schedule because we have students from, I have students from Dubai, from Saudi, from Hong Kong, um, from the US, so we can't really work on a schedule. Uh, so it's all pre-recorded. The course is around, I think it's around six hours worth of videos. Um, so depends, some people, you know, they want to watch the videos several times if they want to review and they want to really understand things. You can watch it several times. Some people just watch it one time. It's really up to you how long it will take. It can take you two days or even one day, or it can take you a month, depending how much time you have and um, how well you understand the lessons. Karen Francisco, uh, Joyce, you're welcome. Karen Francisco, it, thanks. Is there a platform where I can apply as an online bookkeeper? Um, you specific for accounting jobs. I'm not aware of, of a platform that's specific for bookkeepers. Um, I got my bookkeeping gigs on Craigslist and Upwork before. So you, that's what I would, well, Odesk before. We didn't have Upwork then. That's what I would recommend. <laughs> Anna, I'm back, yay. Anna, and we'll look at bookkeeping. Um, Bong Isleta, how much is the starting rate for bookkeepers? It depends. Um, yeah, 10, yeah, Anna answered there. $10 can be a starting rate, but that's a little bit low. Um, I would recommend 15 as a starter and then maybe move up to 25 eventually. Okay, so it seems like we are done with the questions. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this format for Just Learn It. Next week, I'm not sure if we can do this because um, we're having this place renovated, so I might not be able to have a strong internet connection. Uh, we'll see, I hope we can have a Just Learn It section session next week. Um, oh, uh, Melinda said, hi, Sir Jason, this is my job. Great, nice to see a bookkeeper here. So maybe you can you can help out if people have questions about bookkeeping. Well, thank you once again, everybody, for joining us. Um, I love teaching you guys these, these um, new skills and these new concepts. If you want to become a bookkeeper, uh, I'd say I, it's a highly recommended skill, whether or not you're going to do bookkeeping for a client. Bookkeeping is a good skill to have because you can also do your own financials, um, do your own tracking of transactions. Um, so highly recommend you check it out or you know, you can just check out the free course we have, um, wfhr.io slash free bookkeeping course for you to learn more about bookkeeping. Okay guys, so, um, oh by the way, if you guys wanna join the Road to 100K, we're still accepting enrollees we still have some. Uh, we still have a couple of open slots, so head over to wfhr.io/100k for you to check out our 100k program. That's a program where I provide 10 weeks of coaching, uh, as well as we're all we're gonna have almost sessions almost every day, just very short sessions almost every day with action items, with execution. Plus, we have special guests John Pagulayan and Nix Inyego. Um, and a couple of other bonuses. So it's very exciting. I'm very excited to the Road to 100K Masterclass. Um, we have we still have some slots open. So check it out over on wfhr.io slash 100K. Thank you guys, everybody, for joining. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. And-